so <laughs> yeah we're doing nursery rhymes now so um this is a uh, i've been learning so many ska songs recently and this melody rhythm just kind of stuck in my head i was doing a triad exercise last night and i was just running through some g major stuff and as i was walking back I heard uh, merrily, 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 merrily. So I just decided to sit there and figure it out. So this is a great exercise, not only for triads, but it's great for your right hand because the right hand, the entire time, is just going to be going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right? That's that's part of the the technique part of this exercise. It's just being able to switch without having to do two down strokes or two up strokes. Right? So just everything's down, up, down, up, no matter what. And so we start out. On every G major triad, first of all, on any of these, you can leave out the D string and just play the G, B, and E. I just think it sounds more full, adding in the D string. But on the G major ones, we're going to have these muted hits. On the other chords, we won't do that. So you hit a muted down stroke and then an up stroke. You do that twice. 5, 4, 3, 3. Then we're going to do one more down hit before we move to A minor. Okay, so you have down, up, down, up, mute. Then an up stroke on A minor, 7 on D, bar G, B, and E on 5. Or you can leave out the D and just play that. Okay, then we're going to go up to B minor, same shape, just D on 7, or D on 9, bar G, B, and E on 7. Walk back B minor, A minor, B minor, C major, D. Right. So your second half will be B minor, A minor, back to B minor. Then we have C major, eight nine or ten nine, eight eight, and then the same shape up two frets to your D major, twelve eleven ten ten. We're really just walking up and down the G major scale here, right? You want to play these parts real staccato. You don't want them to ring. All right? And then I just kind of slide off the B and E string. All right? So you have... And then the merrily merrily part is going to be four G major triads that we're going to walk down. And we're going to do that kind of muted rhythm, right? Mute, upstroke, mute, upstroke. So we start on 17, 16, 15, 15. Then we're going to go 12, 12, 10, G, B, and E. Then 7, 8, 7. And then 5, 4, 3, 3. All right, so, so far we got this. Life is but a dream. It's probably the trickiest part just because you're going to be moving so quickly between the triads. Again, down, up, down, up with all of this, right? Down, up, down, up, down, right? So you're going to go D major, 12, 11, 10. C major, 10, 9, 8, 8. B minor, 9, 7, 7. Then A minor, 7, 5, 5 and then back to your G major, right? You can try to remember it as the first two walking walking down, we'll have your middle finger on G, and the second two, there's no G involved, right? So the whole thing really slow you get. So that's everything. So it's a fun little way just to have a cool exercise to work on your left and right hand coordination and your rhythm and just moving between triads quickly. So um, that's it. Just practice slow and have fun.